Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing fine. So if you remember that uh, video which I made about unboxing this Aquarium Neo Flow, I actually promised in that video that I'll show you how to clean your canister filter in the most efficient way without losing your bacteria. So this video is going to be about that. And this is my aquarium cabinet and this is where the filter is. So if you haven't watched the video of unboxing this uh, you know, Neo Flow, uh, you can check the link in the description where you can go and watch it. It's there in two languages that is English and Malayalam. So with that clear and without further ado, let us begin. So now let's take a look at what's inside here. So you can see this is my canister filter. And this is a Sun Sun HW302 canister filter. So it's a budget friendly canister filter. So you might be wondering whether this is enough for an aquarium of this size. So definitely not. So I have one more filter here that is, yeah, it's not in a good condition. Please don't mind. It's the Fluel 207 model and yeah these two work in combination so that I can get enough flow inside my aquarium so that you know it prevents the formation of algae and also keeps the aquarium and the plants healthy. So now I have you know that's the tubes that is the inlet and outlet of the filter and I got it here and in this bucket I have the water from this aquarium filled to clean the biomedia. So now let's open this up. That was quite messy. So now I have kept a tarpaulin sheet on the floor here so that the floor does not get messy. So now let's take the trays, pick them up one by one and I have got a plastic tray here in which I am going to keep them first. That's the first tray. That's the second one. Now this is the last and final tray. Now I can see how much of sludge is actually inside. Let me show you. It's too dirty. <coughs> so now what we are going to do is we are going to take the biomedia. So the biomedia are already in small bags like this. So this is the ADA BioRio and we directly dip them. See how much dirt is inside that is a sludge from the aquarium. Now we are going to dip this in this uh, that is uh, aquarium water and just give it a good rinse. And then take it out. That's it. Don't go for taking it out, you know, scrubbing it or anything because that will actually, you know, you'll end up losing the bacteria inside. And there's the other one. <coughs> yep, that's it. That's one tray done. This is the second tray. Again filled with biomedia. good rinse here and that's all set to go 
One more to go. So this is what is kept in the bottommost tray that is the foam bath because the water actually goes directly down to the base of the you know, filter and there it, this one uh, is the one that collects the debris and then the water fills up to the biomedia level. So what we are going to do is we are not going to be using this one again because you cannot actually no matter how many times you wash it this cannot be how it used to be before you know, like a brand new sponge pad so we are going to replace it with new ones that is actually compatible for this one that is the sun sun filter cotton so now <coughs> what remains to be done is giving this canister and these trays a good rinse and then setting them back in so let me finish up with the cleaning of this uh, oh my god see how dirty my filter is so let me give it a quick wash and then i'll come back so yes now i have cleaned everything now let's set back all these trays in their arrangement so as i told you the water directly comes from the aquarium into these pipes so all these pipes are connected through the different trays and the water goes directly to the bottom and then fills up from beneath so you want the uh, sponge or the filter floss in this layer and the media above So these are the two pads which I have here. So I'll be placing in the bottommost tray. So that's it for this layer. And for the sun sun, there is a You can see there's a sticker here that is where this one that is uh, this pipe should be pointed at so that you do not you know misalign this so it's like this in this now this one should go in like this I was just rechecking it then this middle layer we have two bags of ADA Biorio So that's the second tray done again should I align it with the one inside now the topmost one
and again that is done. <coughs> On the other hand, if you are actually not using any uh, you know, this uh, zipper bags for keeping the biomedia, then I would suggest you to add one more layer of uh, filter floss above uh, like on the top, topmost layer because there is a chance that this my biomedia might get in or maybe sucked up by the power head of the, or the pump of the filter and it will damage the impeller of your filter. So here as they are in this uh, you know uh, zipper bags I am not using any of those. And yes I forgot one thing you have to add one more thing. You can add Secam Purigen or the Masterline Purity. Both are like you know media which help in the chemical filtration or like absorbing the harmful chemicals inside the aquarium or the water and really polishing the water so that you get crystal clear water inside the aquarium. So I'm not adding it right now, but maybe in the future. So now we are going to close it. So that's how you clean your canister filter. It's really simple. You don't have to think, you know, it's like a rocket science or something. So now you can actually put it back in and connect the tubes. And this is the prime function where I think, you know, press it and the water will be uh, sucked from the aquarium into the canister filter. In some filters, you don't uh, have this feature. And in that case, you have to fill the water in the canister filter and then close it and keep it inside. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, press the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video to your fellow hobbies. So with that complete, this is your Nature Aquarius signing off. Bye bye.